camera cut off, but we're gonna move on to the next question. Move on to the next question. Do you plan on having more kids? So with this question, I do get this a lot. Um, honestly, I want to have another kid with somebody I'm going to be with for a very, 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 very long time. I wouldn't want to um, continuously have babies with multiple people and I'm not gonna be with them. Like, it's just like a short term thing. It's like, it's not, it's not good for me. It's not good for the baby. It's not good for, you know, the generation the family I'm trying to create is not good for none of that. It's not a good foundation to just be having babies with everybody. So, um, no disrespect to anybody that has multiple, you know, sperm donors. You know, no disrespect to you. But um, that's just not how I want my life to go. You know, I'm speaking on my life, not yours. So, um, I do want more kids, yes. But, unfortunately, I haven't found the right person that I want to, you know, be with. And, you know, actually, you know have the rest of my babies with so not right now um what's one thing you want to achieve in life so one thing i do want to achieve in life is is success um i want to be successful i don't have a certain you know road i'm going down i want to be successful in multiple things i love singing i love dancing i love being a comedian i love entertaining people i love motivating people so that's like a whole five things right there you know a list of things to do right there so it's like i just want to be i don't want to be successful in just one thing i rather have a whole list of things you know that i'm successful in that people love watching me you know and stuff like that i want to be able to you know when people see me in the street they wouldn't be like oh that's destiny the singer or oh, that's destiny the dancer or oh, that's destiny the entertainer the destiny of the comedian like you know stuff like that not just known to be like a tiktoker no offense to no tiktokers but it's like tiktok is just not it's not it's not a really good name it's not i'm not saying it's like a bad name but i'm just saying like i don't want to just be known for a tiktoker or an instagrammer you know i want to be known for something more than that how long have you known wuda <laughs> i don't know why i saved this question but um i've known i've known wuda as long as uh i've known nunu because that's when we met at the same time i met nunu and wuda at the same time so i've known them the same amount of time and stuff like that so since last year yeah since last year how do you think life would be without bella life will honestly be lost i'm not gonna cap like bella gave me purpose to life um when i was 16 i was just lost in everything lost in the sauce i was lost in myself i didn't have no self-love i was just getting to understand like who i was like trying to be myself like just finding myself around that time and um once bella came you know i was even more lost in the sauce but i found myself more after you know she was born and you know we grew together and stuff like that i started finding myself and finding purpose in life and i just started finding like you know just the key you know just the just the sauce I, I was lost in the sauce but now i found the sauce you feel me so bella definitely gave me a purpose in life um it would be meaningful without her everything would just be nothing without her you know um i have a reason to wake up every day i have a reason to keep going i have a reason to keep fighting i got a reason to keep the lights on i got a reason to keep the roof over my head i got a reason to keep saving to get a car i got a reason to keep building up to get a house like you see what i'm saying like she gave me purpose she gave me a lot of purpose and stuff like that so i'm very blessed to have her in my life i'm very blessed that god gave her to me and stuff like that favorite subject my favorite subject in school was actually science yes um i remember this so distinctively sixth grade science i loved it i had a, a male white teacher i forgot his name if you went to dowdell you know who i'm talking about it was like that one white teacher and he had a chocolate wife no face to the chocolate i didn't mean to say chocolate but he had an african-american wife so i remember him he had a beautiful daughter and everything like his family was so beautiful and you know just the way he taught science like his class was just so awesome and amazing and i just carried that from sixth grade on to high school and stuff like that um i wouldn't put science as like a field for me like i enjoy doing it but i wouldn't work it because you know it comes with math and all that and i i i, I, I <clears throat> can't do that is you okay with r4 yes or no um i have no beef with nobody i'm gonna keep saying this because 
there is no beef i have no issue with nobody nobody has no issue with me i hope not um i don't have an issue with r4 i don't have a problem with r4 so no i don't have a problem with him or nothing how many boyfriends you had lol so i don't know how many times i have to keep telling you this but if if y'all really want to hear this here's a fun fact about destiny destiny has never had a boyfriend or you know been in a relationship so yes destiny has had sex got pregnant and was not with the boy yes yes it's yes it's 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 so hard to believe oh my gosh but yes it happened so yeah never had a boyfriend um, are you okay with Damari's relationship with Infinity? By the way, I love you and Damari's fits. So, I've been getting this question recently a lot. And personally, um, I keep telling y'all that I don't. I, I don't. That's his life. What he does with his life, that's his life. What I do with my life, it's my life. The only thing that we have to come together at the end of the day is to raise Bella. Y'all have to understand that. So um whatever me and damari had in the past that is in the past and stuff like that um you know i wish him nothing but the best i always tell him like do whatever literally makes you happy and stuff like that like whoever makes you happy just go with it like don't worry about what anybody else say you know just do you and i i know he wants the same for me as well so now nah, i ain't got no problem with it do you want to move out of florida so the reason why I'm still in Florida is because I have family here. Um, I, I, all I've known and have was my family in Florida, well Tampa honestly. Um, I've been to Orlando and Daytona, that's the farthest I've been into Florida. Um, I do want to travel a little bit more into Florida. I do want to stay in Florida, but um, yeah, I don't want to move out just yet. I'm thinking about moving to Orlando in like a good year or two, I might, but that's just how see how everything goes you know because it's more i don't want to go to a different state that i'm not really comfortable in just yet you know you gotta i mean i know people say you have to get out your comfort zone but to do something that you're completely not ready for i do not recommend doing that like move at your pace you know god has timing for everything so i i advise you to know you pray first talk to god he give you the thumbs up you you make sure he give you the thumbs up and then like you proceed with you know what you want to do but um personally i'm not ready to move out of state especially not by myself because i would be moving by myself so i wouldn't want to not yet i'm not ready is you cool with ida why do y'all say is you cool like please are you cool stay in school my guys stay in school but um am i cool with ida um me and ida are cool um i've talked to her multiple times you know and stuff like that um actually at jade's birthday party we hung out with it was like me ida janae because y'all know i'm cool with janae and stuff like that so it was just us three and everybody else on the bus you know titus tt jade you know everybody on the bus so it was nice cool you know we had a good time for jade's birthday party if i'm spitting i'm so sorry i just got to eat you know how your mouth just watery after you just got to eat no like i said i don't have beef with nobody nobody should have no beef with me you feel me because i'm just I'm just the same regular, regular, schmegler person like anybody else, you know. I don't be trying to put on no image that I can't handle, feel me? So, um, mm -mm. me and Ida should not have no issues. Me and Ida should actually be cool and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, you should be cool. You still like D. So, for y'all that keep continuously, like, if these are questions that I've actually been recently, like, not recently, but that just continuously be and like yeah, blah, blah, blah. but um me and D never dated me and D never talked me and him are just friends me and him are just friends do I like him yes I do like D as a person he's a very sweet person he's a gentleman you know he's a genuine person he's very kind first time I met him you know I was like yeah that's a fine piece of chocolate right there but you know he is my bestie's homeboy, so I do like, I lay boundaries, I lay respect, you know, if, you know, I don't like having awkwardness, you know, how in some friend groups, you know, you date somebody, then y'all break up and stuff like that. So, yeah, but I'm glad that me and him, we're just starting off as, as friends and stuff right now, so, so we're just friends and stuff, but, yeah, <sighs> that's my homie. What's your fave era? My favorite era was 2019 like 2019 i remember this so good 
2019. That literally was the summer before I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> That's literally the summer I found out before I found out I was pregnant. So we go to Orange Lake. It's um it's a resort in Orlando. It's called Orange Lake. We went there every year. We don't go there no more, sadly. But um, if I could go, I really would go. Like, I would love to take my friends there. You know, that's down memory lane and stuff like that. I remember it like it's the back of my hand. I literally, literally loved it. Um, I hated it as a child because, you know, I was being fast, trying to look for little cute boys. That's not why I hated it either. You know, it's just like family. Like, we was like, come on, guys. Let's go on a family trip. You know how some people are when family trips and stuff like that. So, it's like a love-hate I have for it. But... I definitely would love to go down memory lane and go back to Orange Lake and Orlando. Y'all definitely have to check it out. It's so awesome. I love it so much. And I can't wait to take Bella there one day when she gets older. But definitely that was my favorite era in 2019 because, what's it called? Fifth Harmony was popping. They had that one song with um, Fetty Wap in it. Like, I'm going I'm to play it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to just start dancing. Come and in my bed. Don't be shy to your bed. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that one clip in there of the dancing and singing and all that because that was just my song. Like I played, I had that song on repeat like from Tampa to Orlando. It was like a good hour and a half. I had that my earbuds playing on repeat, played about 30 times, baby. Trust, like that was my song. Like I love the song that was just popping in 2019. Like it was just lit for me. That was my era. Um, do you wish you would have gone to college? No. So listen to this. So, um, for the people that really don't know me and just think I got pregnant and sat on my ass, as I was told one time, it wasn't that case. So when I found out I was pregnant, I already had a job. And when we, when I had to transfer my school from Jefferson to Simmons, I had um, my teachers, my, uh, my, I forgot what they're called. I'm just saying like teen mom teachers, teen mom teachers. They basically said like we had to go to college. Like it wasn't. It was an option, but they highly, highly, highly recommended that we go to college and stuff like that. So, I wanted to go to college as a younger child, but I never knew how college was. When I was pregnant in high school, looking at all these college things, I was picking out like courses and stuff that I would like to do, but it wasn't something I was fully committed to. You feel me? Like, I wasn't finding nothing that I would actually say, like, I can go to college for a good couple of years and, you know, finish and do this once I graduate. Like, it wasn't like that. I didn't I didn't I didn't feel it. I didn't like it. They have scholarships and stuff for us, you know, finding us to schools where we can have our babies and also have us there as well and stuff like that. But um now that I've graduated high school and I've experienced college, I stayed a semester at college. If you know, you know. But um definitely I would not go to college. I don't regret not going to college. I if life doesn't go how I want it to like you know not how I want it to but if it don't go where it's like okay I'm happy in life and stuff like that then I would try to go to college you know I would try to like make a have another plan for myself that's like a backup backup plan but you know I still would want to try to be successful in the stuff that I love and love doing you know and stuff like that first before I even think about college but I don't I don't want to go to college mm -mm a hassle for your money trust i got college friends talk about how you grew up in some short words so basically i'm gonna let y'all in on some tea and stuff like that um so i grew up with six it was six of us you know single mom um she tried her best she yeah she tried her best to uh raise all of us you know keep a roof over our head and stuff like that my mom was a good mom um, I wish she spent more time with us individually like that. Um, yeah, that's my only thing when it came to it. I just wish she spent more time with us individually. So we had a more closer bond with us even because it was just so many of us. So I just wish she did that. But um, um, my childhood, I really don't remember it much. My childhood was kind of wobbly. You know, it was here and there. Um, I'm going to let y'all in on like a little secret i don't like talking about this because you know it i handled it when i was a child and stuff like that so but i'm gonna let y'all in now so when i was younger i did get sexually assaulted um sexually harassed by a lot of young boys that were in my life and stuff like that not young boys but you know just older than me and stuff like that but i was 
you know, taken advantage of at a young age and stuff like that. So that's what got me hypersexual while I started, you know, having sex early and stuff like that. My mom didn't know about it till fifth grade. Um, we found out it was somebody in the family that did it, but he's no longer in contact with us. Like it was somebody that was married into the family. He wasn't blood or nothing, but you know, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in the video or not, but I'm gonna just let y'all in on that secret. Um, I didn't grow up with no father figure. I never had anybody that I can call dad and stuff like that. Um, recently I just found out that, you know, my sister, my half sister lives in the same area as me literally five minutes like down the road so that's so, good that happened i recently just found out about my dad and stuff like that and um, the rest of his kids and you know now i know about my other side my little my sperm donor and stuff like that so um he lives in north carolina i think um yeah so i mean i reached out to him and his family a year ago they just recently reached back out to me like a week ago so when you see the video, just do like the math, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I just found out about them and stuff. So yeah, but my childhood overall, it was good. It was good. Um, if I could rate it, I'll give it like a six out of 10. I'll give it a six out of 10. It's good. Just, I'll, I'll do better for Bella. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to make sure Bella has a more fun more fun um childhood my mom she was lightly strict but you know she was strict enough where i had to sneak out you feel me so yeah um when did you start youtube i started youtube two years ago two years ago um close to after bella was born well i'll say a year and a half ago but it's it's like it's two going on three like i don't know let me see let me do the math real quick not do the math but you know like let me just look at when my first video was posted you feel me like just let me look when the first video was posted my first video my first video was posted a year ago so i could have been doing youtube like um two years now i think so but um yeah it says a year ago so i started youtube a year ago why did I turn my phone back off? Okay. Um, favorite color. What do you like to do outside of YouTube? My favorite color is green, like in, as in Jade. Um, what do you like to do outside of YouTube? I like to sing and I like to, you know, keep myself up and positive. I love dancing, but not like dancing, dancing like for a crowd. Like I'll dance like. Yeah, I'll dance a little bit. But, um, I really love singing. I'll read. I love, I used to love reading as a child. I really need to get back into it, especially reading my Bible. So, I'm going to get back into it and start reading back and stuff like that. Um, what do you plan on, like, I have a few more questions left and I feel like this video is really long. So, what do you plan to do in the summer? This summer, I actually plan to stay in the house. Hopefully, I can collab. Like, people can come to me and collab just a little bit and stuff like that. Um. What's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it? I'm saving up to get a bigger house. Not even a house. I can't move into a house just yet. I'm not saying can't, but I'm choosing not to move into a house just yet. I'm going to move into another apartment complex. Um, Probably get like a two to three bedroom. I do want something bigger. I don't want to be on the second floor. Um, Yeah, but I definitely want to stay in the house and save up for that new crib. Your favorite thing to eat in a seafood bowl is the shrimp and potatoes. I love eating shrimp and potatoes in my seafood bowl. I love it. I love it. Was you planning to bring a YouTuber or did it just happen? Was I planning to, on being a YouTuber or did it just happen? Um, I didn't plan on being a YouTuber. I was actually forced and highly recommended to become a YouTuber and start YouTube. But I did not want to do it. Like I literally did not want to do it. I literally do it for y'all for y'all i do this for y'all this youtube and being on social media i do it for y'all yes are you gonna quit making content that's big i don't know i'll be on some days i'll be off some days you know i don't know but we'll see i'm still making it so i guess oh 
what is your favorite thing about being a mom um literally just watching someone grow like i don't know like it's just so cool like she literally was born like formed inside of me gave birth to her she's in the world now and she's growing up to be like her own little person like it's just so cool she's learning and growing and i just i just hope she don't come out crazy you know like she don't kill me or nothing um what's your dream vacation my dream vacation is to go somewhere like in nature like just like feeling god's creation like nature sand trees sun water like just all of it and just going like with my family like you know just some smooth just something nice like i just i want to be able to like hug and give god's creation some love like we're God's creation, but I want to go back to, like, nature. Like, when it's just trees, grass, like, all of that. Like, I would love to just go somewhere like that. I don't know where specifically just yet. It's probably somewhere international. But um, I definitely want to go back into some nature and just, you know, vibe out with it. Or What's Who's your inspiration and why? So, even though, you know, my mom, she wasn't, you know... I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. But you know, my mom, I do look up to her. She's very strong as a woman. She been through a lot, you know, especially with all her kids and then dealing with what she dealt with, with um, you know, her past. I really do look up to her. Like she's very strong and it's like, um, I wouldn't want nobody else to be my mama or nothing. Even though me and her we be bumping heads and stuff like that. I wouldn't wanna choose nobody else to be my mom, you know. I chose her for a reason. Well, I didn't choose her. You know, my, my baby intuition chose her. But, you know, I'm just thankful that, you know, she is my mom. She gave birth to me. She loves me. She loved my baby. You know, she loved all her kids and stuff like that. So, I'm, she's my inspiration. And she's just the strongest woman I know. Like, literally, she made a whole bunch of sacrifices for all of us. Some that we don't even know about. All mothers do. So, it's just like, you know, that's the strongest woman I know. Can't get a crown and nobody else but her. Um, alright, so that is the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed this get to know me small QA. I love every single last one of y'all. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Also, click that survey link down below and fill it out because it's definitely gonna help me. Cause I just said I'm trying to move in to a bigger house for me and Bella. So I can't wait to take y'all on that journey. Um, I'm so sorry that I was not able to take y'all on the journey on my first crib because it's not what i was expecting it was just so much at one time but i know once i move into my second crib i would definitely have a more path for y'all y'all will definitely be on that journey with me and grow with me and stuff like that so let me just continue to keep growing with y'all as y'all grow with me and let's just keep going on this journey we just hit 350k so let's go crazy uh, 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 uh. we on our road up to 400k so i love every single last one of y'all my scrum glam shoes baby have a beautiful blessed day and stay tuned for the next video we are out deuces